welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner and today I'm going to have a look at Mochafy. So Mochafy is a tool that lets you uh, test out code that you've written with CommonJS for, to use with Browserify and it sort of handles the Mocha Phantom JS stuff for us and uh, I've already made a couple videos about Browserify and Mocha testing so I'm going to start with uh, one of the projects I did earlier doing some jQuery testing with Mocha and I'm going to convert the code to use Browserify and then get it testing again using Mochafy. So let me just have a look at the code here. Now if you've seen my other video uh, you'll remember that I have this sort of simple app that uses jQuery to do some basically just changes the text of a div and sets the background color as well. So if I have a look at my app.js, it's pretty simple. Um, you can see it's using the dollar sign for jQuery. So it's it's written for jQuery to be a global uh, global variable and so it's not written for uh, browserify. So if I let's say I had an app like this cuz I do have quite a few apps written this way and I want to convert it to start using Browserify and I already have tests using PhantomJS with Mocha as I do here. So here's my test in uh, Mocha. It's a pretty simple test. It just tests whether I can set the background property on the options and get it to change the color of the background. Okay, so let's start by turning my my app.js into a Browserify version. So the first thing I'll need to do is declare the dollar sign and I'm going to require in jQuery to get that working and the last thing I need to do is export the app itself. So I'm going to do that with module exports equals app. And that's pretty much it. Now if I were to try out my my HTML code in the browser, this probably isn't going to work. In fact, I know it's not going to work, but I'll just do so anyway, because why not? So this project's called Mochafy Demo. Okay. It's in the source, and oh, it is actually working. So let's have a look what's happening here. Uh, if I look in my sources... Okay, what's happening is that it's working because the require statement fails, but the rest of it somehow works, so it's sort of ignoring the errors. Um, that's kind of magical. I'm not really sh I'm kind of surprised that that's actually happening, but that's okay. Um, this wouldn't a larger app wouldn't work this way. If I if I took out the jQuery script tag here, it certainly wouldn't work. That's clear. Um, so how about I set it up so that Browserify is um, building the script. So Browserify is kind of like a compiler for common JS code. It's gonna it's gonna rewrite everything so that it can work in the browser. Even though for some reason my code does work in the browser as it is, it's uh, it's uh, kind of shocking that it works. But I'm gonna run Browserify. So. I already have Browserify installed. I installed it last week, and if I run it, it's here. I just need to tell it what the entry uh, file is. So that's source app.js, and the output. I'm gonna, um, hmm, I'll put it to source. Oh, let's make a build folder. So build app.js. If I run that, it does not work. And why doesn't it work? Uh, because build, it couldn't open build. So let me make the build folder and run it again and it works. So if I go over, open up the build folder, I have my app.js file. jQuery's in there now and if I scroll down enough, if I scroll down to the bottom I can see my app code is in here too. Now if I go over to my index.html, I, I can now get rid of the jQuery script tag and I should be able to load in the build 
the app.js in the build folder. And if I refresh the browser, oh, now it doesn't work. Why is that? So let's have a look in the error console. I'm going to put this on the bottom. Uh, if I go to console, it says app is not defined. Okay, this actually makes some sense. Uh, the reason app is not defined is... Let me make this bigger. The reason app is not defined is that my code is using Browserify. And what's happening, the error is actually happening inside my home page. So it's trying to access this global variable app that's not defined. So what I should do instead, I need to require app. So let me just make that change to the HTML here. So I need to go our app equals require app. Let's see if that works. I'm not sure. If I refresh, it's still oh. now. Why isn't that working? Uh, so now it says require is not defined. So that's just, it's kind of surprising. I would have thought the build version of this would have a require. But what's happening is um, it doesn't. I, I'm not really sure why. Um, so let me think. I could, how would I put this script into the build script? So this will be some kind of init script that uh, gets built with the rest of Browserify. That, that I'm pretty sure would work. So how about I make a new source file? I'll call it init.js and inside that I'll just put the the code I have here in the on the index HTML I'm going to put that right into my build script into the init script so there we go and I think this should work what I need to do different now is run browserify and point it at init so that the rest of it comes after that. So let me try this out. Browserify source init.js and I'm going to output to the same build uh, app.js. Uh, okay, so now it says cannot find module app. It says it right here. And the reason is I'm trying to access app globally. I kind of need to tell it where what app I'm talking about. So I'm going to do dot slash to tell it that it's in the same folder as my init. Let's try that out. That should probably work. And that worked. Now, I think if I refresh the browser, I think it should work. Let's try. There we go. Okay, cool. So I've converted my program to use Browserify. So it's doing some jQuery stuff inside a script that runs in the browser using Browserify. But it was written with common JS for a kind of server side style of requiring. So that's great. And now the problem is I have this test, which is not going to work straight away. And the reason is I would have to, I have this HTML for my test and it is linking in all the JavaScript files directly. And it's probably not going to work well because you know I need to build everything together so how do I solve this one option would be to have to run browserify myself to build it together with mocha chai jQuery and my tests that it's all running within one build script but luckily there's this tool called mochafy that kind of simplifies it for us uh, so how about I start off by installing Mochify. So I'm going to go to the command line. Uh, let's clear here. I'm going to run npm install Mochify and I'm going to save it as a dev dependency and I'm going to install it globally so I can run it as a command line. Uh, oh, I need to I need to do this as administrator so I'll put sudo at the start and run that. Type in my password and see what happens. Okay, so what Mochify is going to do is it's going to build everything together. It's kind of going to run Browserify, and then it's going to use PhantomJS and Mocha to actually run my 
my uh, tests. So it's going to kind of do all this stuff for us. And one cool feature of it, let me go over to the website. One cool feature is this no test HTML page. So right now I have that HTML page. I need to link in all my scripts. It's going to take care of all that. So I don't even, when I'm done, I should be able to delete my HTML page altogether. So that's pretty cool. All right, let me go back to my command line. Uh, let me try running Mocofy right now and just see what happens. So it's saying, I actually found my test, but it's saying can't find, find variable app. So what I need to do is define app inside my test. So that is, my test is app test here. And you see I'm trying to access app. So what I need to do is require my app. So I'm going to define app to be require. And I'm going to need to go up a folder, back down into source, and then load app there. All right. So let me try running Mocafy again and see what happens. And now it says can't find variable expect. So I'm using chai. I need to define what expect is. So I'm going to require in chai and use its expect. Um, let me do this in two, two statements because it probably makes more sense. So let's link in chai and then expect is going to be chai.expect. Okay. So let me run Mocafy and what happens? It passes. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now let me try deleting my HTML test runner. So I can do this from the command line uh, rm testrunner.html. And now let's try running Mocafy. It should do the same thing. And it did. Everything works fine. Okay, so one other thing I'm going to change here in my package.json, I have, I'm still using Mocha Phantom JS as my test script, pointed at my testrunner.html. So I'm just going to re replace all that and just run Mochafy by itself. Now I should be able to run npm test, and it passes. So there you have it. I'm, I've switched over a project built with Mocha and PhantomJS, and now I'm using Browserify with Mochafy. So I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.